my last fight, this guy was a big hitter. The fight before that, that guy was a big hitter. I only fight the best in 154, you know? Um, if I have to fight Tim Soon next, it'll be great. Would you kill the body against a guy like Fundora? All that height? Well, it would be hard to hit him. <laughs> <laughs> Last we heard, Tim Zhu and Sebastian Fundora is going to be fighting each other in place of Keith one time. Thurman sustaining the bicep injury. Terrence Crawford exercises WBO mandatory. And now he's looking to face the winner of this unification fight between Tim Zhu and Sebastian, the Tower in Inferno, Fundora. It's your boy, Mr. 926, a.k.a. Bushido the Dragon, a.k.a. the Silver Hair Demon. AKA the Black Mage. AKA I could just do this all day to two time demonetized champion of the world. Smash the like button. Check it out, man. Sebastian Fandora. It's going to be getting a title shot. And a lot of people question how in the hell did he do that? Well, WBC, right? WBC put Sebastian Fandora in position, and now he's going to be fighting in a unification fight against Tim Zhu. Yeah, Tim Zhu going to be going against the tower and it's going to be a pretty awkward fight to say the very least and it's going to always look like an awkward fight when it comes to Sebastian Vador because he's six foot six and he's fighting at 154 pounds so it's going to be look like a freak show fight to a lot of people and yeah guys like Tim Zhu um Crawford is going to look really small in the ring compared to Sebastian Fandora. but Tim Zhu gets asked about his upcoming fight and a potential fight with Terrence Crawford. Let's see what Tim Zhu had to say. Terrence Crawford as well on the oh, list. Bring yeah, that up. Yeah. Like, That's greatness right there, you know, pound for pound type status. So, um, yeah, we'll see what the future plans, but I've got one big task ahead of me right now, and I'm solely focused on that. Yeah. Easy. I'm easy to make things happen. Yeah. You know, simple, mm -hmm. very simple. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's not my side that that's making trouble. Um, the thing is, is, is Tim Zhu prepared for a 12-day notice, Sebastian Fundora. I mean, that's a pretty interesting task, to say the very least. You got to take your hat off to Tim Zhu for being a fighter's fighter, a throwback-style fighter. I mean, most guys would have been like, nah, 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 nah. I'm going to need time to prepare for this now, nah, but he's ready for all the smoke. Actually, Tim Zhu has proven to me that he's that guy you want to call when there's a problem, you know? So, yeah, salute to Tim Zhu for stepping in there with Fundora, even though Fundora came off a of, a nasty knockout loss to Brian Mendoza. You just can't underestimate a guy with such a significant um, height and reach advantage, right? And he's still a young guy. You know, he made a mistake in the Mendoza fight, and he claimed to have correct that mistake. Um, really, really humble dude, um, Sebastian Vador. It's hard to dislike the guy. Going to be going against arguably his toughest opponent to date in Tim Zhu. However, Tim Zhu stylistically um, isn't quite – the same fighter as Brian Mendoza. Brian Mendoza was kind of giving him different angles, moving side to side. Tim Zhu is a little bit more straightforward. According to Sebastian Fundora, he's going to be using his brain a lot more from here on out. And he said, take it that for how you want to take it. Right. But let's see what Sebastian Fundora had to say about facing the possibility of facing Terrence Bud Crawford. And lastly, Sebastian uh, Crawford, he mandates himself as the challenger for Zoo should he win. So any message to Terrence, like, if you want the Terrence Crawford fight, he'd be your mandatory now. If, if first, of course, he's the number one. He's the number one in the world right now. He's the best boxer right now. So, again, if I could beat him, where does that put me? You really going to fight a 6'6 super welterweight, though? You really think he'll? Hey, the money's right. Why not? <laughs> Thank you, Sebastian. Thanks, man. Can Verizon 5... Sebastian Fundora is a very likable kid, um, really humble. It's hard to believe that he's actually a fighter when you watch his interviews and when you see him. It's hard to believe that he's really a fighter, but that's who he is. And he said he welcomes the challenge of Terrence Crawford. If he beats Crawford, well, then what does that make me? You know, um, Terrence Crawford, as you can see here on the screen, um, looks like he's putting on size to make his campaign in the last run of his career at 154 pounds and beyond. I don't think we're going to be seeing Bud Crawford at 147 pounds, entertaining fights with guys down there. Guys still, you know, saying that he should go ahead and drop the belts. Yes, he will drop the belts in due time. Let him flex on his belts for a little bit. But, yeah, um, will it be enough to deal with the Tower Fundora? I mean, let's just say hypothetically. I think I think, all, I think, think all, these fights are interesting fights. 
the both the Sioux fight and the Fundora fight are interesting matchups. But I think the Crawford Fundora fight is even more intriguing because just because of the, the how it looked visually. I mean, Sebastian Fundora will have a significant, significant height and reach advantage over Terrence Crawford. Will Terrence Crawford be able to figure his way out on the inside and minimize the damage? that's going to be coming his way right memorize the blows that's going to be coming his way um against sebastian uh, and tower inferno for a door i mean it's gonna be interesting to see if crawford can think his way inside and figure out a game plan to really tackle the task for Endora. and tim zoo will be an interesting fight within itself however tim zoo in my opinion seemed a little hesitant on terrence crawford i do believe tim zoo will fight bud crawford but when it comes to mentioning guys, he's a lot more, he pressed on the gas really, really hard. But when it comes to Bud, it's like you can sense the slight hesitation there. And it's because he acknowledges Terrence Crawford is a hell of a fighter. But yeah, man, I think it's going to be an interesting fight nonetheless. I don't know if it's quite ready for pay-per-view, right? This this pay-per-view with Tim Zhu and Fandora, I, I'm not quite sure how it's going to sell. But us hardcore fans are going to be tuning in nonetheless. But yeah, tell me what you guys think, man. How does Terrence Crawford match up with the guy that is six foot six and Sebastian Fedora? And what do you think about Tim Zoot? Tell me what you guys think. Like, subscribe, hot your boy. Peace out.